French have acquitted himself in, in the academy, but he has found his way to the feet of Jesus. Right, the feet of Jesus. Yeah. We want to hear the man who yes, loves God with his mind, but yeah. he searches for God with his heart. Yeah. Yeah. We're friends, we are here to hear yes, the word of the Lord. Amen. We pray for you as you stand and preach. Yes. But we come to hear what thus saith the Lord. All right. Minister Reverend Peter. Contradiction and incongruity 
an anomaly, an absurdity, an oddity, a conundrum, or an oxymoron. A paradox is a statement or proposition that despite sound or apparently sound reasoning from acceptable premises leads to a conclusion that seems senseless, logically unacceptable, or self-contradictory. A paradox. The paradox of the cross. Yes, sir. There are three points that I'm going to leave with you, and I will, I'm not going to exegete this whole passage, but I just want to focus on the paradox of the cross. The seemingly oxymoronic message of the cross. All right, now. The, the three points that you can keep in your mind is that the mechanism, which is the cross, the method, which is the crucifixion, mm -hmm. and the meaning, which is the cue. Yeah. The method, the mechanism, the method, and the meaning. The paradox of the cross is that the cross seems incongruent to what Jesus used it for. The cross is a means of execution for those that were cursed. The cross is a means of execution for those who are despised. The cross yeah. is an ignominious instrument yes, that was not meant to be praised, but was meant for those that are despised. Yeah. You will find in the text that in this, this part of the text, the word foolishness is mentioned four times. The word foolishness is mentioned four times. All right, now. He starts off this pericope by saying, for the message of the cross. Yes, sir. Yeah. So the cross has a message. Yeah. Yeah. The cross speaks. Yes, the cross calls. Yeah. The cross talks. Yeah. The cross beckons. Yeah. And there's a message in the cross that we need to understand. All right. Not everywhere somebody is wearing a cross around their neck, whether they believe or not. Huh? Most of the time they wear the cross as a as a jewelry. You see it in all kinds of people. They're wearing the cross, and they're wearing the cross using foul language. They're wearing the cross with all kinds of things. They're wearing the cross, but they haven't heard the message of the cross. Oh. The message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. Another way of saying that is that the message of the cross to those who are being destroyed think the message concerning the cross is nonsense. Yeah. Or it makes no sense or simply cannot be understood. Those who are being destroyed think that the message of the cross concerning the cross is nonsense. Yeah. That's why it's handled so cavalierly. That's why it's handled so uh, insensitively. That's yeah. why it's handled so cavalierly because they haven't heard the message of the cross. They uh -huh. don't understand the paradox yeah. Yeah. of the cross. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't reach them. It doesn't speak to them the way the cross should be speaking to them. So the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are already dying. They're in a position of dying, and the cross stands as a beacon, but to them, it is just something that is useless, immaterial, has no meaning, can't do anything. They forget about the cross because they, don't, they look at the mechanism of the cross. Yeah. They look at the cross as a mechanism that was designed to punish. Yeah. They look at the cross as a mechanism that was designed to kill. Yeah. They look at the cross as a mechanism of despicable conduct. Yeah. So they don't see the meaning and the message of the cross. Yeah. They're focused so much on what the cross is, they don't understand what the cross was used for. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I don't know if you follow me and you feel me, but we need to understand and be able to speak to the paradox of the cross because they focus on the negative implications of the cross instead of what the cross is pointing to. All right. In these passages, we see the contrast between the believer's view and the world's view of Jesus' death. We are here upon this time where we call Easter. All throughout the year, we should be preaching the message of the cross. Yeah. But right now, the world focuses on what is Easter. <clears throat> and people will dress in their finery and say all kinds of things. And we do all these things like say the last words and those kinds of things. But the message of the cross seems to get lost Come on. Yeah. in the pageantry Come on. Come on. of the so-called Easter resurrection. Yeah. Uh -huh. We get so caught up in the tradition of it that we sometimes lose the meaning and the deep meaning that should cause us to come running back to the cross. Yeah. So we need to understand the paradox of the cross. Yeah, yeah. So in these passages, we see the contrast between the believer's view and the world's view of Jesus' death. Yeah. Yeah. We see how each view is the mechanism of his death. Yeah. How 
I see the method of his death and the meaning of his death. The death by the cross, this death by crucifixion is confusing to those who don't understand the meaning of the death. Yeah. Yeah. It is confusing. Why do you celebrate? Why do you honor? Why do you wear? Why do you preach the cross? Yeah. It is not a beautiful thing. The cross is not beautiful. The cross is a simple structure, and it's not, there's nothing to commend the cross in and of itself. Yeah, yeah, all right. But the cross preaches a message. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, and you hear the cross. Yes, sir. A lot of times we speak from verbal. We are always verbal. But the cross stands as a silent messenger that shouts a specific and a clear message. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cross preaches a message. The message of the cross is foolishness yeah, to those who are perishing. But he says to us, oh, to you, me, and all of us that embrace the meaning oh. of the cross, yeah, yeah. it is the power of God. Yeah. That's the paradox of the yeah, cross so. is that to other people that are perishing is foolishness. It doesn't, it doesn't have any meaning. It doesn't mean anything. But to you who have embraced the cross, come on now. So you have embraced the cross. It is a power. It is a power and authority of God to free you from your condition, to free you from your mind, to free you from all the things that have you bound. The message of the cross is a power. Walk me out every hair in a minute. The despair. 
The cross seems foolish to the world because the world is blinded by their condition. Yeah, the yeah. cross seems foolish to the world because they don't recognize they are condemned prisoners. The cross seems foolish because the world is ignorant of their sickness. They do not accept their diagnosis. They do not see their degradation. They do not see the bridge is out while they're speeding on the road to destruction. The bridge is out. They might have oblivious to their condition. That's good. But the cross is that bridge to keep you from destruction. The cross seems foolish because the world has not heard the weather report. They are ignorant to the atmospheric condition that is pervading. Yes. The cross seems foolish because the world is rebellious and rebels in their rebellion. The cross seems foolish because the world is blinded by darkness and refuse to come to the light. The cross seems foolish and the paradox is lost on unbelief because the focus is on the me and not the me. Uh. Here's the paradox. Yeah. Here's what confuses them that something so despicable is made acceptable. That an ignominious death gives accessibility. That a despised death brings reconciliation. That a cursed death brings restoration. That an unholy death makes one whole. That a place for the outcast brings inclusion. The place for the condemned brings pardon. The place of the thief brings The cross says you must die to me. That's a paradox. The cross seems foolish, yet the believer did make perfect sense. The cross is a sacrifice of God. The cross is a power of God. The cross is a love of God. The cross is a purpose of God. The cross is a hope of God. The cross marks the cancellation of death. The cross marks the cancellation of the cross marks the cancellation of the grave. Yeah. The cross over the cross. Yeah. Because when I see the cross, yeah. I see my salvation. Ah. When I see the cross, I see my redemption. Ah. When I see the cross, I see my forgiveness. Ah. When I see the cross, I see my reconciliation. When I see the cross, I see my restoration. When I see the cross, I see my Humanity may see confusion. I see with clarity. 
three cleansers. Hallelujah. And exchange it. Okay. One day for a crown. Yes. Just as Jesus exchanged it and received all power, all glory, and all honor because of what he did, you're going to exchange your cross. As you die on your cross, you're going to exchange it for a crown. But I'm telling you, when I get my crown, I'm going to lay it to the I don't need it. I'm thankful what you already done. Thank you for the crown.